you think of ancient Rome, some of the things that may come to mind could be the gladiators in the Colosseum, or the Caesars who conquered vast areas of the globe because of their incredible military strength. No army goes without losses though, and the Romans learned that lesson the hard way, with a devastating defeat at the hand of one general in particular. His name was Surena. Hmm. Surena was born sometime in the first century BC and rose in the ranks of the military of Parthia, later known as Iran. It's written that Surena was highly respected, extremely wealthy, very attractive, and one of the most powerful men in the Parthian Empire. He was a commander under King Arodes II, who reigned in Parthia after fighting and winning the crown from his brother, who he had executed afterwards. King Arodes was crowned by Surena, just to give you an idea how much power he had in court. Around the same time, a general and politician often called the richest man in Rome, Marcus Licinus Crassus, wanted to conquer Parthia for its riches and resources. While planning his invasion, he was given military strategy by a counselor who was working for Parthia. The counselor lied and said the Parthenians were weak and disorganized and that the Romans should attack. The Battle of Carhae, where modern Turkey is now, took place in 53 BC. Crassus had a fighting force of seven legions, or somewhere around 40,000 men. The king of Armenia told him to take more, and to take a route through Armenia, but Crassus refused. He wanted to take a straight route through the desert of Mesopotamia in order to conquer the cities on the way to their targets. General Surena's troops numbered somewhere around 10,000, with a baggage train of 1,000 camels to resupply arms and rations. The Parthenians knew the area, and they hadn't been marching through the scorching heat and sand. When the two armies met, the Parthenians demolished the Roman forces. Although Surena was just intending to slow down Crassus' army, they were able to crush it almost entirely. They used the desert to their advantage, beat war drums for intimidation, and revealed shining armor to confuse the Romans, blinding them with the sun. Their horse archers peppered the legions from all sides with arrows, and the Parthenians were able to do so much damage, the Roman army was forced to retreat, where they took even more fatalities. At the end of the battle, 20,000 Romans were killed, and another 10,000 were captured. Crassus himself was forced to meet with Surena to attempt a peaceful negotiation and allow the rest of his forces to escape. But the meeting became hostile, and Marcus Crassus, the richest man in Rome, was killed as a result. It's alleged that after his death, Surena ordered molten gold to be poured down his throat to mock his greed. Surena's victory didn't last. King Herodes II became jealous of his general's fame and glory as a war hero, and had him executed as he was seen as a threat to his power and throne. Surena is still viewed as a brilliant military leader and hero to many people today.